9.4 uh, comparison comparisons of series uh, before we start we can uh, review a little bit about about what we have learned in chapter 9 so first just to review a little bit Firstly, if we have nth term test, if n goes to infinity, a n not equal to zero, so n from zero to infinity, a series diverge, nth term test. For example, in the test, I give you arctangent infinity, and uh, it's going to be pi over four, and it's not equal to zero, so it diverge, right? Uh, second, um, if if the uh, series from n to 1 to infinity, if a n uh, converge, well, we must have limit n goes to infinity, a n equals 0 for sure. But if limit n, a n, go, n goes to infinity, a n equals 0, it will not guarantee, it will not guarantee that the series will converge, okay? It does not guarantee the series converge. Alright, so the count example is limit n goes to infinity 1 over n. You can use integral test, this is going to ln n, and then it goes, it goes to infinity. So this is, um, but this one diverge. Even the limit n goes to infinity, 1 over n goes to 0, okay? So this is what we learned in the first one, and then third, we also learned ge uh, geometric series. n from 0 to infinity, a times r to power n equals uh, a over 1 minus r, if the r ratio is less than 1, bigger than 0, and diverge if r is bigger than or equal to 1. Okay, the geometric series. And we also explain the P series as n equal 1 to infinity, 1 over n to power P. If P is bigger than 1 and they converge, I should say converge, okay, converge if P is bigger than 1. Okay, it's very obvious. You can see p is bigger than one. This one is going to smaller faster. It's just a change reduce so so quickly, right? P is bigger than one, and if p is less than one, it just uh, reduce a little bit slower. Okay, and uh, if is diverge, if p is less than equal to one, bigger than zero. Okay, you can compare some uh like you use some numbers to compare. You can it's very easy to memorize the p series. All right, so. Uh, this is what we are P-series, then we also learned uh, integral test. A lot of times when you do, a lot of times when you, you when you can use integral test, you can also try P-series. Okay, you can use either one of the, um, any, either one of these um, methods to apply on the series. It doesn't have to be integral test, it doesn't have to be geometric series, it doesn't have to be P-series. As long as you can use either one of them to say if it's di if it diverge or, or will converge, that'd be okay. So you can use its very optional way to pick up what the method you want to use. So first, integral test, you have you ch uh, let fn equals an. Okay, so first the positive, fx is positive. Second, um, f prime of x is negative because we need a decreasing function, right? Decreasing function. This is all what we've learned. We just review a little bit. Then, um, one to infinity f x dx. The integral and the series, and from one to infinity a and the series, either both diverge or both converge. This is what we've learned so far, okay? And then today we're going to continue um, the uh, comparison test, okay? 
I'm not sure if I give you the comparison test. All right. So comparison test is let zero less than a n less than equal to b n for all n. Okay. First, if n from one to infinity, b n converge. Then a n the series n from one to infinity the series a n converge as well. Okay, if the b a, if the series b n converge, then the series a a n converge. Why? Because the series is less than equal to this b n, right? Second, if n from one to infinity a n diverge. And then the series m from one to infinity b n diverge. Okay, so when you look at this, you can think about the series. If b n is bigger than a n, the bigger one converge, the small one converge for sure. Because but oh, obviously both of them are bigger than zero, right? Even the, you can check this, both of them bigger than zero. If b n you add all of the b n together, that a bigger one converge. Well, this is smaller than the b n. Every term is smaller than b n. So you add together, it must be smaller than the series b n. So it must converge for sure. Make sense? Okay. And if the small one diverge, b n is bigger than the a n. A n is smaller. B n is bigger. The smaller one diverge for sure. The bigger one will diverge goes to infinity. Even the small one goes to infinity. Don't mention the bigger one, right? Add everything together. This is a single term, but if you add everything together, it will be the same, less than equal to. Does that make sense? Mathematically, it, it's very easy for you to um, understand, right? Okay. All right. So let's look at um, example. Series n from one to infinity one over two plus three to power n. One over two plus three to power n. We can tell that a one over two plus three to power n. We can find a series which is bigger than this one. This is less than. 1 over, can you tell me 1 over what? Okay, I probably should say this. I give you 1 to 3 and that's the main part of the series, right? That's the main part. The 2 does not really change anything. So, but I, I need to ask you 1 over 2 plus 3 and 1 over 3 and which one is bigger? Can anyone tell me? One over three to the n. One over three to the n is bigger because the the numerator, the denominator, the same numerator, the big num numerator will be smaller. Okay. If, if example is one over four less than one over six, right? All right. So we got this this term. This is less than this. Okay. One over three n. We know that n from one to infinity one over three to power n. This one will. Diverge or converge? Can anyone tell me? <laughs> Sorry. What well, converge? This one will converge. Why? So r is less than one. one yeah, three. r is yeah. one third is less than one. It's geometric series. Now we can tell the bigger one converge. Well, this small one, smaller series will converge, since. Since this um, 1 over 3 and this uh, bigger term, the bigger series converge, then we also have m from 1 to, well, we have that bigger than 0 for sure. Now 1 over, from 1 to infinity, 1 over 2 plus 3 to power n converge as well. Just that simple. Does this make sense, everyone? All right, so example 2.
How about m from 1 to infinity? 1 over n squared plus 1. I'll give you one minute to do this one. All right, I'm going to call a student to help me here. Um, Taylor, could you please tell me if this one converge or diverge? I was thinking it diverged. Okay, so which series did you compare it with? I wasn't too sure where to start, but I was just thinking since it would be like 1 over 1, that's not less than 1. Um... That's the one. Well, n goes to infinity, the last term, the nth term will be equal to zero. Okay. But, well, we can find out a series to compare. Normally, how you how are going to find the comparison series? You look at the main term. The constant never matters. A plus one, minus one, minus, minus three. Those constant never matters this whole series. The series is the infinity change the whole thing. The n will change the whole thing, right? So now, we can convert this one with another series, 1 over, which part is the main part of this? Anyone? n squared. n squared, perfect. Okay, so now you compare this to 1 over n squared plus 1 over 1 over n squared, which one is bigger? One over n squared. 1 over n squared is bigger. Okay, so now this is smaller, and this is bigger than 0. Okay, so next step, we need to determine what about m from 1 to infinity, 1 over n squared. Does this one converge or diverge? Maybe I can ask a student to help me. Fear? 1 over n squared. Does it diverge or converge? It converge. Why? Why? Is the word series? P series, right? And one over n to power p. P equals what? P equals two. So this is a p series. Then th we got this one converge. Very good. This one converges. Since this is a p series, p equals two. Okay. Uh, p equals 2 is bigger than 1, and this one converge. Since the big one converge, then we also have the smaller one, n from 1 to infinity, 1 over n squared plus 1, this one will converge. Okay. Make sense, everyone? All right. Now, Excuse me. How about series n squared minus one one of that? M from two to infinity. How about this one? Previous I gave you a one of n squared plus one, right? Now I gave you one is from two, series two. N squared minus one.
So obviously I cannot use this same thing again n squared plus one and one over n squared again. I cannot use this two. Sorry, it's minus one, right? I can't I cannot use this to compare. Because if you use this one, well this is bigger than one of n squared minus one is bigger than one of n squared. Well the, yeah, obviously this is this one converge. Converge. Does this one converge? I don't know yet. Because this is bigger than that. If it's smaller than, like a previous question, the big one converge, the smaller converge. Now the smaller one converge, the bigger one, I don't know, the big one probably will diverge because it's bigger than the small, bigger than the converge series, right? So, I cannot use the comparison here of, of with one of n square. So what do I do next? What do you think? Can anyone tell me? If I try it. Make it n squared minus 4, so we can do partial fractions at equal plus. Um, make the... You make it a what? Okay, m plus 1, n minus 1? Okay, that's very, that's good. m plus 1, n minus 1. Maybe n minus 1 plus 1. So what next? You can split it in. This will equals m from 2 to infinity. The first one is 1 times 2 plus 1, 3. Plus the second one is 2 times what? Wait. Uh, first one, 2, 3 minus 1, 3 plus 1, 2 times 4, right? And plus uh, 3 times 5. Plus 5 times. Seven, no. One, two, three, four is four. Four times six. Okay. Does this one work? Um, you can split split it, right? Plus and plus one over one. So continue. What happened? So you can try this. What next? Anyone? Nobody? So, uh, the first one is one, mi one times one third. I can change it in one minus one third. Is that okay? Yes? Okay, so the second one is I can change it into one four one half minus one fourth. So my question is, is there anything I need to do to keep their to keep them in the same value? If I split into one minus one third, split into one one two one half minus one fourth, and I split this one into one third minus one fifth. What else do I need to do? Okay, cancel terms. My question is now this is this one give you one third, this one give you one eighth, this one give you one over fifteen, this one give you one over twenty-four. But if I split into the uh, subtraction of two four two terms, do I still have the same value? Do I still have the same value? Take out what? You have to press the button. Thank you. Take out two. So if you subtract this one, it give you what? Two thirds, right? 
if you subtract this to one, it give you what? Two over eight, right? If you subtract this one, it's two over fifteen. Compare with the previous series, it just have a ratio of two. So in order to remain the previous same value, I can multiply everything by one half. Does that make sense, everyone? Yes? Okay. So then I can cancel the first one, cancel this one, uh, the one fourth will cancel out, one fifth will be cancelled, everything will be cancelled, but one and one half will remain. The last two terms, one over n, those will go to zero. Okay? So one, one and one half will remain, one sixth will remain. We do have some terms in the end. I think the last term so is one half. One plus one half plus the last two terms is uh, one over n plus one plus plus one over n minus one. Uh, not probably not n minus one. M mistake. N minus one n plus one. So if it's n plus one, is actually last term. This is the n. Okay. This is one over n minus one. It's just a uh, regularly the last two terms. Okay. So what do we have? We we'll have a limit n goes to infinity, right? Since this one I don't put it here, but this is goes to infinity. But now I have to put infinity here and goes to infinity. If n goes to infinity, this will be goes. Well, this two will be zero. So it's one half times three halves, which is three over four. And then this one converge. Okay. Which is okay. You can do that. You can um. You can split it and finish that, which is converge. That's one way. So since today we're doing comparison series, I still want to use the comparison series to finish this one. I still want to use the comparison series. If in the test you do this way, that's okay. You you, you don't have to use the uh, comparison test. Okay. So since we are learning comparison series today, I still want to compare this with some series. So one over n square minus one. I cannot compare it with n square. Just n square. Right. So, if I cannot compare with n square, is there any series you think I can compare with? One over n. One over n. The problem is one over n is self diverge. The big one diverge. I can't say okay since this is yeah you probably get one over n is bigger than one over n square minus one. But this one diverge. The big one diverge. You cannot say anything about the small one. The small one might diverge, might converge because it's smaller, right? So, and we know that one of n square will converge because that's n square. The main part is n square. I cannot compare with one of n square because this is one is bigger than one n square. This one converge, that's right, but this is bigger than a converge series, it's bigger, it might diverge. Okay. Sure. n square minus 4. Well, if you do n square minus 4, this is not a p series, you, you still have to continue to find one of n square minus 4, you have to do that uh, split series again. That's not my point. My point is that I want to have something direct that can tell that a series of converge diverge directly. I cannot tell this one over n squared minus four diverge or converge directly by using some series, right? Any try? Other try? How about this one? N to power three halves. Does this one converge? My first question. Yes, why? Because uh, p is greater than 1. p is 3 halves is bigger than 1. This one converge. Perfect. I can just tell p is bigger than 1. This one converge. p series. Next question is, I have to prove this one 
is smaller than this one. Can anyone tell me how how I can justify this series is this term is less than the other one? How can I justify if okay? okay. Because the And they have like the same uh, they have the same numerator, so they're that well, they have to prove n square minus 1 bigger than n to 3 halves, right? Okay, so how do you prove that? Okay, my other question. How do you prove 5 is bigger than 3? Subtract it, we get zero. Okay, five subtracted three. Okay, very good. Five subtracted three, which is equal to is bigger than zero. So five is bigger than three. Besides subtraction, do you have another way to prove it's bigger than three? Uh, we can divide. Uh, we can divide it. If it's bigger than one, it's bigger than right. The reason I want to, I don't want to do the subtraction here. Because the power is not a good power, you cannot actually tell if n squared is bigger than n to power three halves if you just subtract them. But if I do division, yes, I can. Why? I can divide this two. N squared minus one divided by n to power three halves. Okay. So since both bigger than zero, since both bigger than zero, it's not a big problem for I to uh, divide them, right? Well, what I can do, this has a, a half power, which is a big problem for me. So what I need to do, I can do a square on both of them. Since they're bigger than zero, I don't have to worry anything. If I square this, if I cube this, I don't, I don't, have, to, I don't have to worry about negatives, any negative numbers, because both are positive. Okay? And n squared minus 1 is positive, and 3 halves is positive. Now look at the square. If I square both of them, it's bigger than, it's still bigger than, because it's positive. So what I have, this will give you n to the power 4, minus 2 n squared, plus 1, n cubed. This one will give you... Well, I don't have, actually, I don't have to square this. Just, um, uh, I, you can, square might be easier. But if you don't square that, what do you have? You can have n squared over n to 3 halves. Minus 1 over n to 3 halves. Right? And then, what do you got? This equals n over n 3 halves. Is what? It's n to power. Is squared of, yeah, power 1 half squared of n. This one is 1 over n squared of n. Okay? Obviously, square root of n is bigger than 1 when n is bigger than 2. You would look at the series, so n is from 2. Root of 1 doesn't make sense. This one is bigger than 1. This one is smaller than 1. Okay, not just a bigger than 1. It's the whole thing will be bigger than 1 when n is bigger than or equal to 2. Okay, the whole thing bigger than 1 when n is bigger than 2. Because you can plug it in. If you plug a 3, is square root of 3. And then this has got a very small number. You can check it out. It's bigger than 1. Okay. So, we will have, then we have n squared minus 1 is bigger than n to 3 halves. Okay. Then, since since the um, since this one is uh, the numerator is bigger, then the whole thing be smaller. Okay. Therefore, this is bigger. Then one over n square minus one is less than one over n to three halves. Okay. Since this one converge, therefore we have series n from two to infinity one over n square minus one converge. Okay. Alright. 
So next example number four. M from one to infinity one over two m minus one. I'll give you one minute to think about it and to do it. See if you can find if this one converge or diverge. All right. I will ask the student to help me. Um, I'm going to call a student here. Uh, Eric, could you please tell me if this one converge or diverge? It diverges, which I did an integral test. I don't know how to do a comparison. Okay, you did an integral test, which is okay. You can do integral test or diverge. Well, comparison test, can anyone tell me what did you compare it with? 1 over 2 1 over 2 and perfect, okay. If you use comparison series, you always compare with one of the main part, which is 2n. So 1 over 2n minus 1 or 1 over 2n. Eric, could you please tell me, continue, which one is bigger, which one is smaller? 1 over 2n. This is bigger. Smaller. I can switch the sign. Okay. So Eric, I want to continue to tell you. So I can ask you. Uh, how about series m from one to infinity one over two m? Does this one converge or diverge? Diverge. Because. Yes, yeah, so you can use the integral test, this one converge, diverge, but you can directly tell this. You can take it at one half out, and n from 1 to infinity is 1 over n. Because p equals 1, p series, n to power 1. You can directly say this diverge, because p equals 1, okay, this diverge. Now the smaller one diverge, bigger one will diverge, okay. Since one of the n diverge is smaller one, the big one is diverge will diverge for sure because it's smaller diverge. Okay. Smaller goes to infinity, the big one will for sure will go to past infinity. So then comparison series, then one of two n minus one will diverge. Thank you very much. Will diverge. Alright, so number five. from 1 to infinity, 1 over 3, n squared plus 1. i give you 30 seconds to think about it. Okay. So Lacey says it converged. Could you please tell me how, which series did you compare it with? Okay, which one is bigger? One over three and square. Good. Okay, this one's big. So what next? It's like a piece here. It's like one third times one over n squared. Perfect. You can take the one third out. That's perfect. And from one to infinity and a one over n squared. This is a P series n equals two. And uh, sorry, not P, not n. P. P series P equals two. P is bigger than one. So this one converge. The bigger one converge, the smaller one converge. Okay. Now four. Uh, 
series m from 1 to infinity 1 over 3 n squared plus 1 converges okay so next one I'll give you 30 seconds to do this one Okay, I'm gonna call a student here. Travis, could you please tell me? Well, I'm not sure if this one, but I can hear it saying 1 over the square root of 10. Mm -hmm. That's perfect. You do square, I think that's a perfect comparison. Yeah. So, which one is big, which one is smaller, Travis? Uh, one over square root of n is smaller. Oh, you think? Okay, yeah, this is smaller. So now, can you tell me the series of one over square root of n? Does this one converge or diverge? Uh, would it diverge? Diverge because yeah, it's one half. Very good. He's one half. He's less than one. Okay, the smaller one diverge. So, Travis, could you please tell me what about the big one? Uh, Divergence. Divergence. Very good. Thank you very much, Travis. It's perfect. Since the smaller one diverges, the big one diverges. That's very good. Okay. Here's some more convert, um, comparison test, right? And more, more examples. Zero to infinity. 1 over 4 to power n plus 1. Okay. I will ask a lot of students to give you 20 seconds to think about 4 to power n. I'm going to ask a student here, um, Nicholas, could you please tell me which one, if a diverge converge, which are compared to? Uh, well, if you compare it to 1 over 4 to the n, um, that's going to be greater than 4n plus 1. Yep. Then, this one. Okay, I'm going to change it a little bit, see if you can tell me. Very good. Mm -hmm. So this converge, right? Okay. Then the series. Since the big one converges the smaller one, that's very good. The big one converges, the smaller one converges. Very good. Thank you very much. Perfect. Alright, so, <coughs> more example. And from 0 to infinity, 4n over 5n plus 3. 20 seconds. Alright. 
So I'm gonna call a student again. Um, Jasper, could you please tell me? Okay, this one converge because? Uh, because R is Okay, very good. So the geometric series is bigger than 0 and less than 1, this one converge. Since the big one converge, then the smaller series will converge. Perfect, thank you very much, Jasper. So thus, therefore, the series from 1 to infinity, 4 to power n, 5 to n plus 3 converge. So number nine n from two to infinity L N N over M plus one. Thirty seconds. Okay, I would like to ask a student here. So look, could you please tell me which one did you compare it with? Compare it with ln n over n. Uh, you compare with the ln n over n. But is it easy for you to tell if this one can work to diverge? No, not very easy. Just, uh, Uh, use laptop rule for the nth sum test. To what simplify it? Uh, we cannot. We cannot use laptop rule to simplify. You can, you can check the nth sum test. Actually, that's okay. You can do the nth sum test to say l n over n plus one. I know this one goes to zero, because l n. You can take the laptop rule is one over n. The laptop rule this is uh, one, so it's one over n and goes to infinity to zero. So nth term test uh, cannot tell you anything because the nth term equals zero. Okay, so we have to know if it diverge or converge. We have to use other theory, other thing. So, um, it's it's good. It's okay. You can use ln n plus one over ln over n. Okay, I think that's okay. You can compare which one is small, which one is bigger. Uh, look. This one is one. And plus one is smaller, right? Yep. Okay. So I can tell this one uh, diverge. We know that this one diverge. You can use what? See, um, integral test L and and and. Well, just x, my bad. Just x. You can tell this one diverge because the integral test this one is what you can get. You can use u substitution u as what? L and X, right? So you can do L and X D of L and X. Make sense? So you got L and X square over two plus C, and uh, from uh, one to infinity, you got this one goes to zero. So it goes to infinity diverge. But the problem is this one diverge. This is smaller. I cannot tell anything of the smaller one. The big one, yes, I can use the integral test to see that it's diverge, but I still cannot tell if that smaller one diverge or not. So, this one is not really working well. So normally what you need to do, you need to have a quick estimation. You think this one diverge or converge.
so my initial like a guess do you think this one divert or converge anyone Nope. Diverge. Everyone got a very good guess. Okay. Diverge. That's perfect. Okay. Now it diverge. Since this one diverge, I need to find a smaller series also diverge. I want to find a smaller one diverge. Okay. I find something which this one is bigger one. I need to find a smaller series diverge. So can you tell me if you can find anything smaller than this one? 1 over n. 1 over n. How about 1 over n plus 1? Because this is much easier for me to compare, right? Since ln n obviously is bigger than 1, when n is greater than or equal to e, ln is bigger than 1. Because n is bigger than e, which means n is bigger than 3. n is bigger than 3, it doesn't matter, just the, from the third, the second term. The first term, don't worry, if it converge, diverge, so we can... When n is bigger than or equal to 3, this is obvious bigger than 1. L and n is bigger than 1, okay? So, this series is bigger than this. It's easy for us to tell 1 of n plus 1. This one diverge. It's easy for me to tell this one diverge by word test, anyone? By integral test. Make sense? Okay. You can use the integral test because 1 over x plus 1 bigger than 0, 1 over x plus 1 derivative less than 0, that's very easy, and 1 over x plus 1 derivative and it goes from 1 to infinity this one goes to infinity so by integral test I can tell this diverge now I got someone 1 of m plus 1 a diverge so therefore the bigger one ln over m plus 1 series from n to 2 to infinity this one diverge okay the key point is first you guess if the series diverge or converge. You guess if it diverge, you find a smaller one diverge. If it converge, you find a big one converge. Okay, so that's kind of the whole point. It help you to make the uh, comparison test. All right, so last one m from 1 to infinity, 1 over m factorial. Does this one converge or diverge? Anyone? So you compare this one with what? You're thinking what? Diverge. Diverge? Okay. Why do you think one of n factorial diverge? 1 of n diverge, but 1 of n, factor n factorial is n times n minus 1 times n minus 2. So we compare this 1 of n square. Okay, so for n is bigger than 3, this one, n factorial is bigger than n square. n factorial is bigger than n square. Okay, when n bigger than 3. Since 1 of n, since 1 of n square converge. So the smaller one converge. Right. So that's for to all today, and uh, we're going to continue tomorrow. All right. Hopefully, you will be able to.